Hey everybody, Denise here with Homeschooling Mama. How's everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's been a while since I posted anything. Uh, we just got, you know, we, we just completed our move a few months ago and we're still trying to get situated from that. Uh, we're still not in the house that we're trying to buy. Uh, that's not gonna be ready until sometime next year, but it's gonna happen soon. <laughs> It's just hard waiting because we're so excited. But tonight, we are actually at a pretty cool place. It's called Party Kingdom. Uh, and it's here in Chino, California, which is in Southern California. So like I said, we're celebrating my daughter, my middle daughter's um, ninth birthday. And it's a pretty cool place. It's really big um, if you're ever in the Chino area. Um, I recommend that you check it out. It has big um, bouncy houses. It has like a bouncy place that has like a little zip line. And let me see if I can turn the camera around to let it, so I can let you guys see what it actually looks like. My little one is saying hi, saying hi to me right now. So let's turn this uh, camera around and let me see if it will allow me to no it won't it's only taking pictures that's a bummer so sorry about that but um i'm gonna i'll just have to physically turn the camera around and hopefully it will look okay so here we go this is going to be the the part where they have zip lining for the kids yeah it's not very good and then this is the huge slide that one of the big sites that they have here uh, my my uh, little one she's five she was like the first time she went down it she was like so terrified but uh, she loves it now let me see if I can get at least a good filming of that one hopefully I can Okay, I'm not sure if you were able to see it or not. And then this, they have an area over here for jousting. <laughs> I'm not sure if you were able to see that, um, but that was my husband uh, jousting in the jousting area with my <laughs> oldest daughter and my littlest. <laughs> and then they have um, a actual trampoline area over here and then they have a little kids area for six years old and under so it's pretty cool and this is the first area the second area because uh, you can have parties here we actually had my oldest daughter's party here when she was when it was something called wild kingdom so now it's something different. It's Party Kingdom, but this is what it looks like. So it has um, obstacle courses in the other room. And then it has, I won't show it because there's a lot of babies there, but there's a little um, area that little babies can play at, which is really cool. Because sometimes when you go to these jumping places, you're like, oh my gosh, I have a baby. They're not going to be able to play. They're not going to be able to do anything. But here at Party Kingdom, uh, you definitely can. And this video is not endorsed by them in any way. I just wanted to um, touch bases with you guys because it's been quite some time since I posted a video. I think the last video I posted was in October when we did our corn maze. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. On certain parts, you could probably hear me like, oh my gosh, Daniel, where are you, where are you? Because it was so dark. It didn't look dark, but I had my um, flashlight on on my camera. So, but it was really dark and I was like, oh my God, because who wants to lose their kid in a corn maze, right? So, and be like, worst mom ever or something. But um, yeah, so I hope you liked the tour. And again, I just wanted to give you guys um, a little video to stop by and say hi and 
Um, also, how was your Thanksgiving? Did you spend it with family, friends? Did you um, just hang back and kick back alone with your family? We actually went to um, my grandma's for Thanksgiving, which was really nice. Um, I hadn't seen them because we lived in Mexico. I think I mentioned that in a prior video. Um, we lived out there for two and a half years and I was never able to make it out to California to see them on Thanksgiving and the rest of my family. So that was really nice this year that I was able to do that. And I'm excited because now that I'm down here, I can spend Christmas with my parents and my grandparents and my brother and you know, everyone that I had, haven't really been able to see for, <laughs> my kids are saying hi, uh, for some time. So that was really nice um, and it's going to be really nice. So I'm excited. Uh, what are you doing for Christmas? Are you, again, are you spending at home alone? Are you just with your, fam your intermediate family, you know, your kids, your spouse? Or do you go out? What is your Christmas tradition? Do you have a Christmas tradition? Uh, we do. We do on Christmas Eve. Uh, my husband is Hispanic. So every Christmas Eve, it's been tradition since he was little. And I wanted to carry on that tradition um, with his mom and him. And uh, his dad's no longer around. He passed away a few years ago. But um, I wanted to keep up the tradition. So I've learned how to make tamales. And uh, we get together with, it, with my mother-in-law. Um, well, this year we won't because she's still in Mexico. But um, we're going to we're going to go up a few days actually before Christmas to visit her. Um, but anyways, we're going to be doing tamales at uh, in our little uh, apartment that we're living in right now, and we'll have people over. Maybe I'll make a video of us making tamales. I think that would be cool. And then. Um, after that, um, the kids go to sleep, and then, you know, Santa comes, and uh, the next day, which is Christmas Day, we spend it with my family. So we go, usually we go to my mom's first, and then we do, like, Christmas breakfast there, and then, um, you know, if they have presents for the kids or whatever, we do it there. And then from there, we travel to my grandma's house and celebrate with her and um, my other family. So it's a pretty packed <laughs> uh, two day <laughs> event, I guess you can say. Um, so do you do anything like that? Do you guys have like any tamale making traditions or, or Danilin or cookie, cookie making traditions? <laughs> My little mini me. Hey, I'm, I'm sweaty. <laughs> You're sweaty. Okay, you can go sit down and take a break if you want. No. Yeah, and, and I forgot to mention this place is really cool Monday through Friday, and you can't find this at a lot of fancy houses, at least not where we are. Um, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., it's open jump, which is cool because usually when you go to these bouncy places, it's like maybe like an hour or so every other day is like, or two hours, like open jump. Um, but yeah, here it's all day. Uh, you can't come and go, of course. So like if you're planning on staying for a few hours, pack cooler. <laughs> so that way you can have food and snacks and all that good stuff. We definitely plan on coming back. Um, it's cool, $10.95 is the cost. So it's not too, too bad. What's nice is you don't have to buy their like grip socks. You can just, if you have grip socks, you can bring your own. Adults bounce for free as long as you have a kid that you're paying for. And kids um, 12 and younger, you pay for. But kids over 12, like my, my oldest daughter, she just turned 13. So I didn't have to pay for her. So score, especially around Christmas time, right? Um, I feel so bad for kids that have birthdays at Christmas time. Like my like my middle child, she's December 10th, and then a few weeks later there's Christmas, and then um, my oldest one, her birthday's in November, so she's like a Thanksgiving baby, and then my third one, she's in summer, so she's good. Do you guys have little kids that 
uh, babies that were born around Christmas. Is it hard? Like, how do you, how do you do like birthdays and Christmas, especially like if their birthday is like right there at Christmas? How do you do it? I like give you guys props because it's kind of hard at times. Uh, well, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I really enjoyed talking to you. Um, I will talk to you again and do another video soon. Um, I did fin wrap up a few curriculum uh, subjects already, so I will do a review on those soon. And I will definitely try to make a video of us making tamales. <laughs> so again, thank you for tuning into my video. Please uh, feel free to subscribe, Homeschooling Mama. I'm also on Facebook um, by the same handle, Homeschooling Mama hyphen Denise Rave. And uh, please smash that like button and smash that subscribe button, which is that little bell in the corner. So that way you can get updates on when I go live and or record videos or vlogs or what have you. Uh, I'm, I don't normally do New Year's resolutions. I do New Year's promises but um, or goals. And <laughs> my goal for this coming year is to try to be more consistent on my videos. But again, please feel free to uh, subscribe, like my content, please, 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 please. And feel free to follow me as well on Facebook. And for now, um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, which, Diwali, whichever helps uh, holiday you celebrate. I hope you enjoy it and we will talk soon. Bye.